Now, a new strategy for England uh, to help people lose weight was published by the government today. Proposals include a ban on TV adverts for unhealthy food before 9pm. There'll be no more buy one, get one free deals on unhealthy foods. And there'll be new rules for displaying calories on menus. 63% of adults in England are currently overweight or living with obesity. And health experts warn that obese people are more likely to have a severe reaction to COVID-19. The Prime Minister has said that he struggles with his own weight and he's urging people to take action to improve their health. Our correspondent Jeremy Cook reports now from Manchester. People think because we're fat, we're stupid, we don't care about ourselves. And it's not that. I don't want to be the person that dies early because of obesity. Andy and Sandy, best mates, a friendship yeah. forged in their common battle with obesity. It doesn't say it very clearly about how much sugar's on there. A determination to live and to live well. We're looking at the outside and what I've begun to realise is the inside's being damaged. My heart, my lungs and Covid has really brought it to home oh, yeah. that the people that have got a weight issue are not doing as well. They met at More Life, a Greater Manchester weight loss programme. Patients are referred by their GPs. Covid means classes are now virtual, but the government wants much more of this for thousands more across England, struggling with obesity and needing help. It is very scary. I'd like to be a little bit more mobile if possible and just have um, a more enriched life. With one in five kids in England leaving primary school obese, the government will now limit advertising of food high in fat, sugar or salt before 9pm. Part of this new obesity strategy which has been promised for years but repeatedly kicked into the long grass. Now, finally, it's here. It's good, but there's a lot of work that still needs to be done. It, this is a complex area. Uh, we still need a deeper understanding of people's relationship with food and how that impacts on their behaviours. Um, but also we must not forget our poor communities who may need additional support with this. The government wants more of this on the menu, healthy outdoor exercise. There could even be cycling on GP prescription. It'd be fantastic, get more people out, make the roads safer, educate drivers about um, passing cyclists, etc., so that people feel they can come out. And what about the other proposals, like banning buy one, get one free? If you want it, you'll buy it, and also the prices bear change, I think, to make that more appealing. I don't think they're genuine all of the time anyway. Calorie labels on food packaging and on some restaurant menus. Anything that makes people aware of what the amount of calories that they're eating is good. There's the recipes and know what it's got. For Andy and Sandy, it's all about getting results. And between them, they've dropped five stone. But it's taken more than the government-backed 12-week programme. It's a lifelong lifestyle change. If people see you can succeed, even somebody like us can succeed, do it, have a go. What are you going to lose? Hopefully you wait, nothing else, have a go. It's brought us closer yeah, together. We're, we're going to really grow thinner friends. and older, disgracefully together. together. Yeah. Jeremy Cook, BBC News. Let's talk a little more about this with our health correspondent, Sophie Hutchinson. What kind of response has there been to this today, Sophie? Well, these measures for England and some that apply right across the United Kingdom are being welcomed as a big moment by obesity experts. One described them as totemic to me earlier, saying that it's really the first time she felt that a prime minister had truly understood the harmful impact of junk food, advertising and marketing, and just how widely available it is in our shops and restaurants. There has been huge frustration among experts about what's perceived to be a lack of action by ministers over the past few years. We know that being overweight has a link to cancer, to heart disease and diabetes. It's put enormous strain on the NHS. But now with this more immediate risk from COVID-19 for those who are heavier, that seems to have really focused the government's mind. One of the things that's changed today is that this is no longer just about preventing children from becoming obese. It's also about helping and supporting adults, millions of adults, to lose weight. 
Will the measures work? Well, they are expected to have an impact, but industry is concerned about the costs. And like all of these things, just like tobacco, this is about large scale cultural change and that doesn't happen overnight. Sophie, uh, many thanks once again. Sophie Hutchison there.